Yeah. Flying against the uh, the glove. Let's get everybody muted. Lots of muting going on. Hello! Hello everyone, it's uh, good morning from Middleton C. So be good afternoon, Europe, UK. Good evening, Australia. Probably very late evening, maybe even early morning. You know, time zone. It's a big day. 12 hours of Sebring. We are in the P2. And uh, rain is definitely coming. We don't know when that's going to be the key question so anyway we got Nathan, Trevor, Hugo and myself we're here and uh this looks like strength of field is about 1800 which is right where we're at after. so should be competitive race GT3 split and a um LMP2 to start category so let's get you on to the recording yeah there you go that is what we're looking at so i'm going to unmute the discord that way they can hear me so nathan i'm thinking Since we know the race is going to start at about 10.15 and set. Yeah. We may have an extra stop for you just to go on wets. Yep. So, I got, I got Gunther running. So... I have calculated also cut over from wet to dry in terms of times. Yeah. So uh, you cannot get suckered in to the oh the the track looks dry enough, it will not be dry enough. Uh, yeah, in split one yeah, split one, people made that mistake, and two laps later, they're coming back in to change back the wets. There's a lot of these guys and times I'm seeing, is these are quality runs. So. And I'm on full fuel. And you're on full gas. So good morning to everyone who is watching us. And supporting us. Ah, thank you very much, Eric. We know we're really good in the rain, Eric. And we definitely have a very good setup. It's as you know, luck is everything. Example one. So Nathan now knows in the race, he's not going for that move. Nope. 
Yeah, something we got to remember too, fellas, is a lot of these folks may not be proper road racers like we are. I'm gonna dump the fuel out and see what it, what time they can get. For yeah. So. Oh, what what has ding? I heard a thing. Things are not good. Okay. There we go. Trading paints. Starting to get all the paints in. So, yep. FTVM purple for 12 hours. Um, Nathan, we, we need both of our dive planes. <laughs> Yeah, you get a gap of three behind, and then um, GT3, and then a gap of five. And did you see the bug car highlighted? Yeah, we discovered that last night. Um, that actually happened in other streams. So we are very much aware. How did P3 race go? Um, I ended up second. Well done, buddy. Tobias is Tobias, right? But um, I qualified fourth and got a great start. Nice. And was second, and then Tobias wrecked in Gondomer. So I was leading a fair bit of the race. And then lap three, front got away from me in Sunset. So I dropped down the order and still raced my way back through the second. Is that uh, the league, like a lot of people are still trying to figure out the P3, but with all the P2 running I've been doing. Um, once I realized I needed to like go like tweak the fix setup, back just a little bit on the brake bias, it became very nice to drive. Once the tires heat up, it's the uh, P3. Oh, no, touch curb. Remember, you got the 3D curbs here. Oh yeah, I forgot these got updated. Stand by. Yep, one more, and then you got a gap. And go, go, go. Yeah, these are 3D curbs. You can't. You know, there's a lot of these guys that have. I can tell you, just looking through the field, they have. Not practiced. Thank you, Ashburn. We got a very, we got a good car, good lineup. Just going to need a little bit of luck. If we have the luck, it's going to be our day. We're going to do well. Jesus, Olympian of Ferrari. Just 
feel that he takes that second part very slow. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these fellas are on. I say the top, like seven or eight, are on less than max fuel. That's for sure. And we're so far down in terms of split, we're gonna have nope. Okay, not your fault. He overdrove that corner. Yep. I'll use this as an in lap. Yep. So Quirk started with zero X when it rained. Within five minutes of his second stint, they had to retire the car. So for oh, those wow. wondering, Quirks was in the R8, and my goodness, when it rained, all sorts of hilarity ensued. Crazy all hell broke And so because of that, uh, here we are. Yeah, if you clip that cone, by the way, if you clip that cone, that is an unsafe pit entrance. 23 Celsius track temp. Yeah, see, LMP2s are getting wrecked on the, on the front strokes. This is going to be a race of attrition. Low track usage. Uh, we're going to be tearing up tires. favorable split, fellas, so uh, if we don't do well, it's on us. Yeah. Alright, so let's see how many is in this particular split. So, three, six, nine, fifteen, 23 P2s and 3 6 9 12 15 18, 20 1 2 3 4 5 26 GT3s so it's 49 49 cars deep so it's near full grid So we got about four minutes left for warm-up, and Nathan's going to go out. That is what we're looking at right there. So, Nathan, I got a feeling that similar to um, time slot one, it's going to rain right when we form up. I'll monitor this for you, but... Um, knowing the weather patterns the way I do in real life Sebring, this is coming um, from the interior coming east. So that means when the second bath of rain comes, it may come from east to west. If they've done this correctly. So... Yeah, the track definitely does not have a lot of grip to it.
This is what this is what we're looking at here, right here, folks. Now that's zooming in, so that may I don't know what the radius of that is. But what we're looking at on the radar right now is that yellow blob. That's heavy rain. So we're going to be definitely using a lot of strategy. So um, this is the first official with rain. Let's see what the uh, let's see how the lineups are in terms of have anyone trying to do this solo? No, everybody has got somebody. To be fair, it's needed. There's a few two-person lineups, which for 12 hours, that's pretty hard. That's ballsy. Around here. Standard three-person lineup. And we have a couple of four-person lineups. I just want to see if there's a team that's like running five or six, you know, like fun running this. Yeah. Andrew, you are magic. Driver, magic. Oh. Oh, they're having fun already. Let's see here. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. Magic Andrew, magic Andrew. We've already got sing alongs. Okay, so he. Oh. That's because um, the guy behind him. It's connection. Oh. It was connection. Okay, end of practice. So 10 o'clock on the dot. So Nathan will go out on drives for Wally. <laughs> And I suggest um, the first touch of rain is about the hit. Okay. So um, keep that in mind. So don't be surprised if all of a sudden I call you in to put you on wets. That is what we're looking at here, folks. Already having connection upload issues? Yep. But Paul?
So what Nathan's got to do now is he's in essence got to outrace the rain. Good luck, yep. Nathan. In terms of qualifying. Okay, you are double green for Wally. find out very quickly which individuals paid attention to the other time slots. As the rain is coming from the northwest, so it's coming from this area of the circuit. Yeah, I can see the Gray skies and tower. Yep. This goes tower, Cunningham, Gondomir, Le Mans? No, Le Mans. it goes Cunningham, Collier, Tower, Gondomir, Le Mans. On zoom in, first touch of blue, entering picture near hairpin, you are still green for quali. mind folks this is a race setup the fuel out of it. it is not a hot rod special so not worried about the quality times we know where we're good at okay Nathan once you finish this lap quickly Disconnect, set the car up on wet, full fuel, please. Rain. There it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're still green for Quali. Sunset is still clear as of right this moment. But it's going to be close. the line. That's all we wanted to do. Get a quality time in. So Nathan is now going to put on the wets. Because this little squall line here in the radar, that little yellow blob is what's coming. So... Part of the shaving's already done as up. Well. Okay, so we're on full wets, max fuel. Um, also set your rain TC, please, to 535. 535 is done. And brake bias to 46.5.
Oh, there's the rain. There's the rain. Yep. Yep. That's why we needed to go out and hustle at quality time. Because <laughs> from right now, for the next hour, is going to be steady participation. And, and then zero from a half. 11 till at least quarter past two. Mm hmm. Of dry. But it's not going to be truly dry. No, it's going to be moist. It's going to be moist, and then. Yeah, we have the, the same thing here. So, all right, quality's over. So, Nathan, take your time gridding, by the way. Don't be quick to grid. Yeah. I want to see who we catch out. Because there's oh, going... Oh, it's raining in sunset. <laughs> yep. There's going to be some... Some person that forgets, because three three teams didn't even set a quality lap. And we're back here with LaBroca. So LaBroca Racing, up-and-coming YouTuber, growing their community. Oh. Um, they're in the same slot with us, so I would not be surprised if they are moving to the front with us. Okay, so Nathan, the other thing we've noticed with the cold wets... It takes yep. three proper racing laps to get going. So give lots of space. They're going to run themselves off the road. Yep. Okay. So we're not even going to grid until about 15 seconds, by the way. Yep. Let people sit there. We're going to pull a gyro strap. Um... In a lot of race meetings, I like the grid last. Um, there's some fast one lap wonders in here, but let's see how they are for 12 hours. Uh, two cars in GT3 did not qual, so we're going to need to watch the. Um, I'll watch the pit starters, because there's five potential pit starters. Okay, Nathan is in. Okay, pace car is about to go off. That is not the leader. Good luck, Good luck everyone. everyone. So a well-approved Fuchsia livery P2 is the overall leader. Does it have James May on? No, line. it's just straight Fuchsia. They've gone for a, but it, it's a perfectly named Minardi F1, so that may be all the budget they could have afforded. Yeah. So go ahead and back yourself off a little bit. Uh, we want to back the guy behind us up. Yeah. Because I am hearing crunching already in the mid pack here. So we're excited, we're nervous, we've worked really hard. We're kind of where we wanted to be. Yep. Um, we did not want to be in the middle. We wanted to be towards the back or towards the very front. Yeah, go ahead and get some scrubbing in on the front tires or anything just like you're doing.
Okay. Ace car going through Fangio up to Cunningham. Ace car is being pretty consistent on. Um, The uh, pace car is absolutely slowing down for these corners, uh, like 60k for the corners and then speeding up. So be alert to the accordion effect. Yeah, and give it a nice wide berth. Nice wide berth. Yeah, GT3 field is reasonably well back. So, yeah, I like that interval you have on the car in front of you, by the way. Okay, I'm there is. Gonna... Let me find out who is starting from pit lane for you. Right now, it looks like it's one car so far to GT3. Okay, going through Le Mans and heading down the sunset. Plenty of room behind you, uh, Nathan and Class. Uh, GC3 field actually slowed down just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Because you only got two Keep behind you. And then uh, the last prototype in Class is basically kind of running shotgun, which is exactly what I would do. Go ahead and keep, keep that gap right there. Okay, pace car and sunset. Good luck, Nathan. Everyone, stand by for start. Stand by. And stand by. And leader has gone early. Prepare for green. And green, green, green. Yep, this right there. Perfect. Okay, got the report. Triple caution, hairpin and tower. Grip levels minimum. So I have the fucking clue where I'm going. Nope, nope, you're fine. It's when people start getting comfortable, they're going to make mistakes. So, just be vigilant. A couple of GT3s. Kind of, they kind of went off in tower, but they kept going straight, so they probably just ran wide. As our sister purple car, the 83. Yeah, no grip out there. I was trying to stay away from the purple car. Yeah, yeah, we just want to stay away. You disconnect on me. Oh, fuck. 
I disconnected as well. He just got dropped. Nathan just got dropped. I'm still racing. Yeah, I wonder if it's... Oh, there's other people. Yeah, he's still racing. I wonder if it's going to sync back up. Yeah, he shows uh, zero X. I wonder if it's on my end. Ah, fuck. Well, I am as well. 125 a ping. Water. There's a lot of D DNS now happening. Yeah. Black flag. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, I see. Oh, you just came back, Nathan, and now you've disappeared. And now you just had... I got hit again. Weird. Yeah, it's... Everybody's having issues. Tell me, give a second and a half back. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, you just came back. Okay, let me I'm check the car. Go. Okay, from what little I saw of the car, you're okay. At point one of a second, fuck off. Yeah, make sure you give it up. Fucking okay, there no, you go. I gave it up. It was eye racing, didn't clear it. Yeah. Okay. You're, you are coming like in and out, in and out, but it's, yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, the GT3 is having all sorts of issues too. It's the server. It's the server. This is all server. Because my, I have the server steam yep. timer mm -hmm. and it's like minus one. Yeah. Like you're barely coming in and out on stream. Okay, I'm oh, there you go. Yep. I'm gone. I'm back okay, again. It. Yeah, it's... Yeah, this is server-side processing. That's what this is. Well, we don't mind racing from the back in full tilt. I am checking the car. Your car looks fine. So... But the way that the stream is rendering you, yeah, the server is like, you know, that lagging feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Stay off the curbs. Considering it, it gave me a 2.5 second penalty because I went around the longer hairpin. Yep. And and it wouldn't clear. It, uh, this is happened. It wouldn't clear. So. Even though I was practically stopped. Yep. Okay, there's still some disconnects going on, but it's slowly starting to correct out. You have no pressure behind you. You have plenty of gap. So, so we do not mind this at full tilt. We we actually like racing from the back and letting the race develop. Okay, caution okay. is cleared. Two cars ahead in the next battle pack. Okay, and Nathan, I've already confirmed the next pit stop is set up. You can just go out there and run laps. Good. Over there, doing what I love to do. So I can see the breaking point. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, gents, when you get in the session, make sure you turn off. So you have one or two ways to do this either do auto wipers or manually map a button for wipers, you cannot have both. That is a bug. In my case, I have an actual button that I turn on for wipers, so. Totally. Oh Okay, server is starting to stable out just a little bit. So I would say, Nathan, next time by... Oh, car coming from the left, stay tight, and they're merged. 
he's going to have a big slowdown to it. Yep. Okay, so... Ethan's trying to find the grip. Okay, the number six P2 is in the lane. They have had an issue. So I will investigate that. Uh, yeah, the uh, number six car has is San's front end, so they have had a wall tap. In addition, the rain pace from the leaders is very slow, so this is a slow wet split. Okay, you're entering heavy squalls, Nathan, so expect more carnage ahead of you. Wind is from the west at 30k. So you're going to have a little understeer going into Cunningham, Collier, and Tower. You're going to have a headwind going into Sunset. Easy does it. Let's see, what am I? I broke super early. Well, that's extra rain. But that is. Overall leaders already would be very slow GT3s. standing water now at all points of the track. Thank you. 
Okay, 29 LMP2 in the lane. No visual damage seen. And no meatball either. 88 GT3 with the meatball. Number 2 GT3 with a meatball. And the number 6 LMP2 with a meatball. Oh, the meatballs. And now that Nathan's in clean space, watch him start gobbling down. Oh, 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 Yep. Yeah? Touched a little bit of standing water. No, 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 shit. Yeah, it's definitely a pond thing right now. So you're, you're on the pace with the next few cars ahead of you. I think with clean air, you're going to bridge the gap. Basically, we're driving these conditions is if an F1 did red flag race. Yep. Oh, easy, to, yep, to catch. So third through tenth is all in a giant gaggle ahead of you. So this is not a bad situation at all. Meaning clean track where we can actually see. Okay, so you're three seconds faster than the car immediately ahead of you. You're almost two seconds faster than the car in front of that. And you're 1.5 seconds faster than P16. So, natural pace is going to start seeing you through. Okay, update P16. Correction. The number 16 LMP2 is dropping. They have... Oh. Or had a disconnect. But something has occurred. Okay, the number 20 um, in Gondomer. Okay, be very careful in Gondomer, Nathan. Everybody's starting to slip and slide in front of you. That was five cars that all started yellow lighting over there. Yeah, Alan Braz just had an upload connection issue, and they were third. That's your correction. Oh. They were second, and they had the to tow. Okay, overall leader is starting to drop down. Let's see if that's a connection issue. Let me find out what's going on with them. Okay, they're back, but they're, they had a little blink in, blink out moment. The servers are crashing again, or? Um, just for a couple of people. But the uh, number 16, which was second place, they had an upload loss issue they've put in their next driver so that looks like connection related 
Uh, very good lap, by the way, Nathan. You are considerably quicker. Okay. P4 overall is having an issue in tower. They're just getting going again. Okay, Nathan Gunther reports double black condition existing Gondomer through Le Mans. That's the worst level he can assign. Any bloody right. Sunset is double yellow. Hairpin is triple red, not yet black. As you see here, Nathan on natural pace. I told y'all we had a great ring setup. Okay, Lambo right and clear, click her clear. Fuel mileage is really good too, Nathan. You've been really good on the fuel mileage. Okay, number 99 P2 has had a connection split. They're now going again. Behind you. That was Andrew Walker who went long in the hairpin. Nathan, you got another half an hour of pretty steady rain. Hello? So. He does not see you. Be, be advised, he's not seeing you. And again, he's driving a Ferrari in this weather, which hats off to that team. That is not an easy car to drive in the rain. I'll give him the vision, I won't cover him. No. Until I'm well ahead of him. Yeah. Oh, they'll remember that later on. They're like, they were nice to us in the wet. has been downgraded to double yellow grip. The zero one two car has had an issue. And Gunther has updated Fangio, that's the left hand you're coming up to, as triple black. Do not get on the inside unless you have to.
Like there is inches of standing water being shown in that corner right now. Uh, Chapman ahead of you just took an incident in the tower. Ran just a little wide. Brave soul in the Ferrari. Mm -hmm. Pretty good car in the dry here, but in the wet. Solid 11 laps before hitting. But so far, a very respectful start to the race. Pleasantly surprising. Okay. Nathan, next two GT3 cars are four and six ahead. You've had incident behind you involving your other P2, so no trouble behind now. and start to claim some victims. This is working out very well strategy-wise. Okay, GT3 is clear, clear, clear. Yellow flag ahead, GT3 related, they're going. Still there, clear, 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 and clear. Yeah, if we get you out in clear air, Nathan, you are top five pace. Yeah. If we can see where we're going, oh, oh, good catch, no, easy, 
Easy, easy, easy. Okay, turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left, turn left. Okay, danger close, too close first. Go straight, 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 straight. And clear, no trouble behind. That is what happens when you hit either a curb or a pond. Pond is the next pitch. One or the other, it will do that there. That's why it is triple black. The only good thing about that is that is not hitting the left front tire, so it won't be too new. And if you're going to go off, that's the place to go off. Because <laughs> you have all the runoff. You have all the fucking concrete to get back onto it. Mm hmm. That, folks, is the difference between a clean windshield and what Nathan's going through. Because if you can't see, you can't go as fast. at the relative. Okay, uh, that is a GT3 having an issue ahead. And there you are. Why are you backing up into the corner there, guy? You're a 2.2K driver. You would think you know better, but I don't think so. seconds out of the guy ahead of me. I don't know, like I said, we got a great rain set up. Yes. <laughs> okay, giant gaggle of traffic ahead of you. So three GT3s and then one Carlos trying to clear them all. Nathan is up positions from the start. All you can ever ask for in this situation. Okay, number 28. Snap to the Alright. And it's just, yep, okay, I racing catching. Okay, hairpin is now double black on grip. Goes entry and exit. Got that gray. Hello, grass. <laughs> okay, and advisory from Gunther in from Tower to Le Mans. Stay off the curves. There's been a lot of people incurring incidents in that area.
a P14 ahead, turn one, major issue, recovering. They lost the spot. You've already cut the gap down considerably to these cars ahead of you. Okay, in this gaggle, there are at least one car with no front end. That's the Ferrari ahead of you. Lambda, you gotta give space there, buddy. Okay, that is, okay, it's all happening, it is all happening, everybody's having issues in the tower now, Nathan. Letting us by, I think you're number 29. Okay, Nathan, looks like more server side issues. You are starting to bounce in and out of here. Okay. Same and you're not the only one, it's starting to light up like a Christmas tree again. I am There's in. I am in the rig, just in case. Okay, Milam just dropped, and that was the overall leader. Please come back. Please come back. So, I racing servers having issues. I wonder if this is Frankfurt again. No, this is Boston. Boston okay. having issues? Yes. So you still Boston. not returned. Oh, really? I'm in. Just have to come in through hairpin. Yes, yeah, six, uh, car 16 had another meatball. Oh. I see it because... My race laps on the left of the screen is... Okay, it's starting, it's starting to sort out. But you still have not shown up here. Let me make sure it's not my ping. Okay, a lot of high ping. You're at 125, and there's a lot of high ping. Server skews at uh, minus one again. Yep. So, nervous times because if Nathan's still going, there's Nathan. Okay, Nathan, you have a black flag. Unsafe pit exit finish. I have pit it. Okay. You know what? I would say take her pit stop right now. Why is this showing unsafe? How many laps do you have until you gotta serve it? It's not insane how many. Alright, let me see if anyone else has got this goofy situation. Yeah, so the zero one two's got a black flag, the twenty nine old. So, there's a lot of meatballs going on now. So, let's just go ahead and come in. We'll do the 30 seconds. We'll take our pit stop and call it good.
is the 83 is starting to blink in and out. The 540 is starting to blink in and out. So, box, box, box. Full change for service, and we'll send you back out. I wonder if that's just a server glitch because it's trying to guess where you're at. That's been fucking ridiculous, though. No, I agree. And there's going to be a strongly worded email sent to others to fix their shit. Oh, I think you're not the only one. So Nathan's going to come in, and we're kind of coming in a little out of sequence, but that way, the way that the projection is going to be, you should come back in, yeah, like my linear pit board has got a lot of blinkers now. Okay. Remember, do not slam brakes coming into the um, pit box. Gentle into the pit box, please. Yep. Should be about halfway down. And park. Go ahead and we'll take our service take our 30 seconds. We'll just go back out there and calmly go about our business. So we know the leader has got to hit eventually. We'll just take our time. And that is a very strange 30 second penalty. 65 second penalty. 55? How is it 55? I don't know, but I'm taking a photo of it. Okay, but it's... One safe pit exit and pit entry. I wasn't it. Yeah, and there's still people having occasional upload issues. 22 car in the lane. So that is half a lap penalty for no fault of our own. Meanwhile, total carnage going on in Cunningham. Lots of blinkers right now, Nathan. Lots of people spinning out nice and easy. Double caution, very cold tires. Um, I'm annoyed now. Yep, well, we all are. Triple black warning merge danger close. Two GT3s. And oh, there you are. And he disappeared. Yep. And that is basically a lap. Now, when they come in and pit, we'll get it back. So it's going to be pivotal for Nathan to warm up these tires and get past this guy for track position. Nathan's got a lot to do. Okay. Yep. Okay, front front tires are 86%. So that's not the world's worst pit stop minus the 55 seconds of nonsense. And the server is still very unstable. You have inadvertent crabbing going on, so you're going to have a little bit more skew. And Chapman is off. I'm back up. He has completely dropped. And that is because he is showing stuck in 
Cunningham, and he's just going. So that's a huge win for us track positionally. Is when they pit, we're gaining a little bit of time. So Nathan, if you want some good news, you're in a bubble. Good. All right. Rain scheduled to stop within the next five minutes. You are staying out on wets. Just transitioning from max rain to light rain. I'll be right back. Hey, hey. Hey, Trevor. Thanks for that. You got position three and four just coming up. It's ahead of you, where?
Nathan, the rain is going to stop within the next five to ten minutes. Okay. I racing with the most captain obvious comment of track is extremely wet. And the servers are extremely fucked. Yes. And I'm still seeing the occasional um, DNF connection issue. So I'm wondering if people are having the same issue. Let me find out if the other teams are having the same issue. I don't know why this 220 car is flashing you like crazy, but he's still flashing you. Pointless flashing, Martin, you're left. Well, the only reason why he's flashing is he's doing 208s in the wet. So they got caught out. Was one of the issues. So that's just a driver who's ticked off right now. You're catching up to the 99, though, in a hurry. And server is starting to heck up again, yeah. because Nathan, you're heck up again. Oh, the rain is starting to go away. Yeah, so the rain's cutting over. Okay. Hey Siri, set a timer for 50 minutes. Oh, you schmuck. 50. Not 5 0, 50. So now it'll be 49 by the time I do it. Okay. I have the timer running, Nathan, on when we need to come in for dries. So, Trevor, here's your 50 minute warning. Did you? Uh, about 3.15 in sim, so four hours from now. I'm doing the other rain set.
I mean, our issue is not the rain, it's the server giving us a 55 second penalty through no fault of our own. A lot of hiccups and burping. Yeah, it's, it's really caught about half of the field out, so it's, it's frustrating, but we're going to do the best we can. So after Trevor um, does his double, we may have to have Hugo come in to do his first step before the rain hits when I get back in the car. Yep. So be advised, we are ad-libbing this okay. as we go along. Okay, 80, the 83 car has towed. They have completely lost the front end on that car. So they're going to be parked for a while. So that is, oh, easy does it. Um, so that is a position gain for us when we come back around. There's five cars in this group, so you're going to have to be very, very patient. Four GT3s, and then the um, 220, who is in a hurry. Did a 208. Well, they're throwing the car around to do a 208. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought that beeper was about to hit us. You see what time I did la lap time I did last? Yeah, well, that's because it's not raining anymore. So we know when the cutover is. Put it that way. So on the straightaways, Nathan, make sure you're seeking out the, um, the water your tires under you. There's still a lot of standing water, but as it slowly dries up, we're going to have to start finding the water. The car immediately behind you has just done a flat two minute. They're going hell bent for leather because they're three laps down, catching up now. So I would say just tack along with them. They may pull us to the front. So. And thank you, Andy, for the 21 months being a sub. 21 months. Jesus. Yep. Careful. We'll see. Careful. 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 And that is for position. That car right in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Careful. It's going to be good. So. Clear the GT3. Three immediate ahead. One of them is that Ferrari that has lost the front end. And you are quarter panel. Even. Clear. And clear of the Lambo. And clear of the Ferrari. <laughs> clear, 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 clear all the way around. Now, away we go. Yeah, 
a next couple of P2s are There's entering turn one. There's a difference when you see that he's stuck behind the GT3 and you just keep it next to him. He can't go anywhere. Yep. What we, what we call in basketball a pick play. And I would highly recommend this having your wipers on a button. Yeah, they're going to help here. If you're on auto wipers, it may not turn on right now. So the quicker we get by these GT3s, the easier life is going to be for us because P5 and 6 are dicing hard behind. Do not be surprised if the 41 tries to send it. And you're away. So you are four seconds faster per lap in these conditions versus P13. There you go. Yep, yeah, get the cool water on those tires. David's on the horn again. I don't know what he's talking about, but there you are. So 41 behind you is getting antsy. Just keep him right there for as long as possible. Let him eat spray. He will try to send it. Oh, good. Yeah. That's why I let you know. Because he is very aggressive. And again, he is named Castro Neves. Might be a relation, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Okay, number 19 coming. Look at that fucking send and a half. Live, big, big send. Giant send. He sent that from Lake Wales. I don't judge. Uh, they are fighting for position. Yep. Yeah, they are fighting pretty hard for position. Okay, a couple of more disconnects going on with the server now. Okay, last lap you were two seconds quicker. Then Jan. And Jan came in three laps after we did. So kind of that inadvertent error that the server gave us. Oh no, Nathan's gone again. Nathan's gone again. Yeah. And Car 99, 0 to 4X, probably because we're pointing. It's almost unraceable. All right. Mark Chapman's got a DNF. Jan's got a DNF. Yeah, iRacing server has not done us a lot of favors. And there is Nathan discontinuity interpolated 
Yep, race control came up on mine. Yep. I just saw you pop back in when you were going through the hairpin. I'm in the rig, ready to take over, just in case. Let me get my gloves on, because this... Just we don't know where you're at. Uh, tower. Yeah, it still hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> All right, gloves are on just in case. Ah! Yep. Zero two X. We don't know what happened. <sighs> and meatball. Front end is gone, right front is gone. Go ahead and tow it, Nathan. Oh. Not your fault. God, I literally hurt my hand. You okay? Oh, fucking Tom. I am very close from calling it. Right now. It, this, this is, we can't race like this. I'm very close to calling it. This shouldn't be happening. I'm literally going to farm let me melt eye racing as we speak. This we're we're place. 75 minutes in, and through no fault of our own, we've taken half a lap penalty. Half of the field has had disconnection issues, and now we have a meatball through because of a server async. Yep. So, unless you guys really want to do this, I'm saying we call it right now. Because when the next round of rain comes in, it's not going to get any better. Is this sports car or formula? This is sports car. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind using a sport car. Hugo, what about you? Well, if you guys want to call it, call it. Because the thing is, is with the front end, with Nathan's front end the way it is, you're looking at maybe 40 minutes of repair. Wait, hey, no. Forget it. Like, let's find I'm, out that I'm, it's a I'm front... I'm sitting in the car to along. Because he's missing the right front wheel, he's missing the right front A-arm, he's missing the whole front nose cone. Fine, I'll only get the toe finishes. Okay. Three seconds. Uh, eight minutes, eight, eight and a half minutes. That's not bad. No, eight and a half minutes is five laps. But, as you said, it's going to get worse. It's going to get when worse. I, I am going to pull an executive decision, and I'm withdrawing the team. Yep. That's it, folks. iRacing has screwed us over of an opportunity to do well. Not our fault. Um, we're done. So I'm going to end the stream now. Disappointing is the least of the words I have right now. We deserved a lot better today. Take care, everybody. God bless.